this is a Tesla Model 3 and in this video I'm going to test what materials has been used for uh, body panels and various other parts because you know it's been said that um, to save cost uh, the Tesla will use more steel whereas uh, Model X and S the more expensive ones they use uh, purely aluminium so I purchased this one yesterday which is uh, a magnet it's a golden gate yeah we are in San Francisco now so it has two kind of powerful magnets. So let's test in the front here first and then work it back there. So the hood is aluminium. What about this part? Oh, that's steel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so the hood is mostly aluminium. And ooh, what about um, under here? I think we have some stuff under the tr uh, sorry, front here. What about this part? Uh, this seems like steel. Well, this one is obviously steel. It's a tow hood. Um, yeah, and then we have this plastic around here. So if we put this one back, it's just it is, it's fixed there with, with a Velcro. So like that. And then this is um, the Tesla, actually original Tesla all weather mat. So um, okay, that was the front. We close this one, and to close it, you probably need to use two hands but I should do it carefully do it one hand also but it's not recommended uh, okay what about this panel here oh steel okay and the bumper uh, the bumper seems to be uh, some kind of composite material yeah you can hear the difference between this one As most bumpers are, that's also plastic. Yeah. But okay, let's work back here. Uh, let's see, did I test this one? Oh, this is steel. Yeah, that was, that was steel. Okay. This is also somewhat magnetic. Uh, and this part, steel. The chrome is, I don't know, chrome. Uh, what about this part? Why is plastic? Well, I should figure it out. Oh, shit, the noob. What about this part? Uh, aluminium, I guess. Okay, the door. Oh, aluminium. Okay. Uh, oh, what about this lower end here? Oh, steel. Steel. Okay, the back door. Aluminium. Well, okay, this, this one is one piece, of course, so it's also steel. All right, what about here? Steel, okay, mainly steel. Oh, the back door. Steel, uh, I guess this also steel. Uh, yeah, this is also, uh, I don't know mix of plastic or whatever uh, there's a bumper part of the bumper uh, what about in the trunk so you cover most of it um, let me see oh you know what uh, what about parts of the roof but we have glass roof so there's not much metal around here yeah yeah okay um, but I was also curious about the trunk we have this part here what is this Aluminium, aluminium, yeah. So it's actually a mix of aluminium and steel. So I mean, for the longest time, I thought that it was mostly, you know, steel to make the cost lower. But they have a mix of aluminium and steel, and that's probably why this car is fairly light. It's uh, 1,600 kilo, and you can compare it to similar sized fossil cars. So. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's a myth that EVs has to be so heavy because of the heavy battery is. So, I mean, with the right engineer, you can make EV as like heavy or light, same weight as fossil cars. Well, okay, that was uh, pretty interesting. Uh, what did I, did I check the this part? Oh, that was aluminium. Oh, okay. I guess this is also aluminium. Yeah. Huh. All right. So um, that was pretty cool. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this. Oh, oh, sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So uh, it was 
at least interesting for me. Uh, maybe not for all of you guys, but for some of you guys are like, oh, cool. I just, yeah. So uh, that's it for now then.